Hey guys, Amin here, back with another NRL reaction. We are on round 24, which is wild. I can't believe we're already around 24. Um, but yeah, so this past week we did a Storm Panthers uh, watch party, obviously. Uh, for those of you that tune in, you saw that. Um, yeah, really good game, really, really exciting. Uh, we did see Cleary re-injured his shoulder. Um, I believe, yeah, you guys said he's back. Um, he'll be back for finals hopefully they think they announced that yeah um yeah so this video we're just gonna be checking out all the matches that we didn't see already um i completely avoided spoilers this week i was like super busy in uh in the real world so i didn't really yeah i didn't really check anything else that happened so yeah well, that'll be good and then yeah we'll at the end of the video we'll go over the games uh for next week see which game we'll do a watch party for and um yeah yeah, we'll just hop into it. Uh, make sure to drop a sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts, uh, join the Discord, join the tipping leagues, all that stuff. And yeah, yeah, let's just hop into it. All right, so first up, yeah, we obviously the Panthers Storm game was the first match of the week. Um, my pick was Panthers by eight, but yeah, obviously, what, what was the ending? It was Panthers by two, right? Or Storm, Storm by two? Yeah, Storm by two. Yeah, really, really close match, but yeah, it kind of got ruined by a sim bin, and then um, actually, no, wasn't it? The storm were the ones that had the sin bin, right? And the storm scored when they were down a man, I believe is what happened. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Any, uh, see the comments, I guess. Not a fan of the club, but if there's a referee, get, ever got lost in the outback, I doubt many would look for him. <laughs> Seriously knows how to ruin a good game. Best game seen for months or in a while. Yeah. Wish Art a hidden gem. Yeah. Yeah. Wish, Wish Art was the guy that scored. Yeah, he had a really good game. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that was a great game. Great game. Unfortunate for the injury, but good game. Uh, so yeah, Seagulls Warriors is the next one. I had Seagulls by fourteen was my pick. Let's uh, let's see what happens here. I think the Warriors, yeah, the Warriors are still in the picture, right, to make it to finals. I doubt they will. I doubt they're going to be the team that like clutches up, but um, who knows? And then yeah, Seagulls. Yeah, Seagulls. Seagulls. I'm pretty high. I think most of you guys are high on them too. They're uh, they're a good squad. They definitely have a good chance. Uh, as good a chance as anyone else of the top two to win, so let's let's hop into it. Ruben Garrick will get us underway. First of two games on Friday night footy right here on Fox League. And here's Adam for Noah Blake, who will bring it out here and play it just inside the Warriors 20. Probe to find Terry Evans kicking from inside the 40 20. He has the angle. Nice cherry. DCE. DCE. Nice turbo. Nice. What a play. That guy is huge. <laughs> Sob. That guy looks like he's 6'5", or his legs are like super long. Holy smokes. Yeah, so there's a good start for Manly. Ooh, nice. There you go, Johnson. Sean Johnson. Johnson scores for the Warriors. <laughs> the offload to Johnson, he gets the try. That footwork, Good offload. Right was that a forward? No, maybe not. That kind of looked like a forward pass from that angle, but I don't think it was. Now, as Brooks shows them oh, what a pass! He's got Tom T. Yeah, four on one. Sheesh. All right, ten four. On this left hand side. Good set play. Yeah, that was nasty. That reminded me of uh, an NFL handoff type pass. Nice. Ooh. Zalesniak. You get it? Yeah. Easy. DWZ. Ooh, that was a wild pass. What a pass that was. Saab, the timing was delicious. He'll play it just inside the sideline. Terry Evans and a pass. Ooh. Good D by the Warriors. Wraps it up. Last play for Manley. Terry Evans will kick out towards Saab and also Garrick. Contest there. Oh, no way. Crazy, what a catch. Ruben. Oh, it's absolutely pouring. Jeez, I didn't even notice some of that. What a grab. What a snag. 
Gary gets over the stripe. From the left edge of the field, they go to the team now. Cherry Evans. Yeah, it's even raining even harder now. Holy smokes. There you go. Man, like, geez, yeah, it is, dude, it is pouring. Oh my god. It's like a monsoon. Alright, shh. 20 to 10? Is it 22 to 10? Double pump. Cutting up pass. Oh, excuse me. way towards sealing the deals. Man, I almost hit the margin here by two. Can we get one more here? Nope. Uh oh. Who is that? We'll watch it again. What happened? Hit his head? Hmm. Oh, is he going to get the two? No way. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I got the I got it right. Manly by 14. And at full time here at Brooklyn, Let's go. Taken down the Warriors, 24 points there you go, Manly. All right. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. I feel like I've gotten pretty good at getting excellent. Like, I, I feel like I've got one margin correct a week, it feels like lately, but the rest of my picks are bad, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's that's good. Um, <laughs> Warriors really said raindrops work stops. <laughs> <laughs> hope I'm first saying next year will be the year the thumbnail spooked me but as I watched the highlights my fears were gone <laughs> oh man alright well yeah yeah the Warriors yeah, that's the end of the Warriors season they were already pretty much done but yeah that, that seals it right there they couldn't afford to lose another game um yeah Manly Manly's pushing for top four yeah I think I think hmm depends on how, the, how hard all the schedules are I have to look at that I think to see uh the schedules but um yeah they, they have a chance to get top four here okay so we have roosters eels up next this this should be a blow for the roosters um i pick roosters by 28 but you never know teams maybe stop trying as hard down the stretch and want to save themselves from injury and then the, the the lower end teams are like trying to earn jobs for next year and stuff so you never know what's going to happen but yeah eels have been a huge disappointment this season um yeah, I had a lot of Eels fans telling me to cheer for them this year that they had a chance of being pretty good, and they have a similar like history to the hockey team I follow. So, they were a team I was, I was hoping that they would they would like do well, and I jump on their bandwagon. But yeah, it's obviously just been a complete disaster for them. So, we'll see what happens here. But yeah, Roosters by twenty was my pick. Let's hop into it. I used to love playing in weather like this. You slide further. A well, nice stadium. <laughs> oh, jeez, man! It always blows my mind the the opening. Uh, oh, right up there. It always blows my mind, like off the rip there when they when they just run into a wall of guys. Like I feel like so many guys should be getting hurt from that. But All right, looks like this one's a soggy match too. Oh my god! Okay, it's jeez. <laughs> yeah it is absolutely is it raining or is it just wet from earlier i can't tell if it's actually raining right now yeah it is absolutely jesus it's like a swimming pool jeez there you go dude look, it, looks like, it looks like a bath it actually it's like a bath so this this is gonna hurt the uh I think the weather might hurt the Roosters' chances of putting up major points, so that might ruin my pick, but they should still win easily. Ooh! Ooh! That would be a suspension. That was bad. That was right to the head. Jeez, and he was the third man in. Yeah, in the bin. Let me know if that was a suspension. I feel like that could be a suspension. That was, like, really blatant. All right. Let's see if the Roosters can just blow this game up right now. There's Dom Young, Dom Young. Nice, yeah. Dom. Definitely one of my favorites so far. Nice, okay. Weather's well, not going to be an issue for them. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna blow the crap out of the Eagles right now. 
Oh, what a step. Tedesco. Oh, the dummy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the D had no chance there, but yes, still a flashy move. There you go, to Alonghi. There's one for the Eagles. Ooh. They're on left. This is close to professional foul territory. Yeah, they're still on. <laughs> oh, geez, another Ben. It's a professional foul. Off you go. They're already given six again, and then you come in as well. Off you go. <laughs> so, May playing it. All right, I should. I may have should have done a bigger margin here. Oh man! Oh man, Dom. He's so good. Man, he's so good. Yeah, this might be a 40 margin. Oh, what a dude! What a kick! Chip and chase. Oh, dude! Yeah, that's just typical. Dude, Dom. Oh man, he's so good at finishing. Oh, offside, rock interference. Yeah. All right. Come on, he'll sa save my margin here. There you go. 38H, it's 30. Get one more try, Eels. Come on, get one more. Nah, I don't do that. <laughs> oh! No, what a defensive play! What a play! That was crazy. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Let's go! Let's go! Get the kick, get the kick. I, th I think you, you saved my... No. Damn. Big one, though. Is that, what is that, 24? Yeah, 24. I had 28. Okay, that, that's good, though. That's so close. Um, yeah, so, yeah, that one was expected, I think. I don't think anyone... That was... I doubt anyone picked the Eels to win that. Um, but, yeah, let's take a look at the comments. Uh, playing against the Roosters like a walk in the park. Jurassic Park. Did someone say steroid chicken? What? <laughs> Let me know the context for this, uh, Roosters fans. Yes, we all know your joke, but team is on everything. Interesting, okay. All right, so there's some maybe some steroid, uh, um, what you might call it, uh, steroid rumors for the roosters. <laughs> I assume they do drag test in the NRL, but maybe not. It's, it, it, like, I don't know. Pair, pairs ambition outweighs their skills. Gutho is like an unessential vitamin. Mediocrity is not a crime, so the eels are free to play next year. <laughs> bring on the Panthers week one finals. Bring clear as well. We're ready. Roosters coming for that premiership. But yeah. Yeah, I really like the Roosters, but I, I do know, I think I think it's, yeah, it's the Roosters, right, that haven't won. They're like 1-30 in 30 versus the Storm and Panthers, and then like like beat everyone else, like every time, which is just crazy. Um, yeah, oh yeah, this comment here about that, about that sin, how about that uh, hit only being a sin bin, yeah, that looked really bad. I feel like that could have been a red card. I, I, I gotta think that guy is getting suspended, but let me know, we'll see, I guess. Anyway, so yeah, that's two back-to-back -back picks. I had uh, really good margins on them, so that's good. Uh, now we got Bulldogs, Dolphins. Uh, Dolphins looking to make a, make it make the finals. Uh, they're right around with everyone in the little group there. And then Cowboys are or not Cowboys. Bulldogs are pushing for top four. Um, yeah, Bull Bulldogs are definitely a team that has a chance as well. They're one of those teams. I think he has mentioned they're a good stylistic matchup for the, for the Panthers. One of the few teams that like match up well with them with, with how good their D is and stuff. So interesting to see this. Uh, Bulldogs by four is my pick. Uh, let's see what happens though. The start of Super Saturday, no better day. Bright, sunny and, uh, day, no rain. Nice. Jesse Bromwich as well. Now Tracy, man. Sexton, long ball, Croydon, Carrez, oh, final ooh, corner, nice. Canterbury over. Oh, did he get hurt? Not much doing in the set. Open mm, the field. Not. Look, he might have got hurt there, but. The the number seven there didn't even try to stop him. That guy could have dove at him, I feel like. That would be that. Oh, that's why the ball. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Ooh, that guy's a tank. Oh. Damn. Oh, what a sit for him. Is he going to make this? No way. Oh, what a play! No way! The hammer! And he throws him out of bounds, too? That's crazy. What a play. Ooh. There you go. Nice, Dolphins. This is a good game. Some crazy plays. Now Money, right side, Sexton, Burton, here we go, Tracy, cut it more, Carrez, he's over again. There you go, got it again, Gregor same spot. Carrez has got a double. The wingers are having a good day. Mm -hmm. Sullivan, Blatt, Nicarima, out the back. Oh, that was brutal. Is he going to get it this time? Yeah. No hammer in sight. No hammer in sight. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. Oh, that was brutal. Brutal pass. There you go, Dolphins. Making it interesting. This is at the way of the half, too. Alright, 16 10 at the half. Yeah, this has been a really good game. Oh. oh, dude, the hands. That was sick. Nice. Oh, man. Absolutely missile like. That is crazy. Boom. Right into the rib cage. The one was stone. That's a oh. double. Those two defenders. This time, Salmon to Burton. Lovely step. Burton. Burton sets it up for Sherry. Matt Burton running 5 8. Step. Yeah, your Bulldog's just running away with it now. Okay. Bulldogs number six. He's controlled things beautifully this afternoon, Matt Burton. Oh, what a step. Big offload, nice. Good pass. There we go. Alright, this is going to be okay. This is right in the beginning about being a ball out here. Not good for the Dolphins. Good for everyone else here in that area. Yeah, the Dolph or the Bulldogs are definitely a, a def a definitely a uh, it's another, convincing win to another level of t of team compared to the Dolphins. A, very appreciative crowd in Bundaberg. a big home win. A lot of highlights into the game. Bulldogs are really good at home too, right? They're like the best team, I feel like, at home. Alright, so I had Bulldogs by 4, I ended up being Bulldogs by 20, so that's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing pretty good with my tips. Got every, everyone right at the moment, except for the, the Panthers' storm, obviously, but that's better than I've done usually. Uh, need to have Kakao with the ball in hand more when he's on. The man is a killer. Bulldogs now the best team in the competition. Crazy turnaround from last year. Finals bound locked in up to dogs. Crichton doesn't, doesn't get enough praise. Him and Clear are the best players in the last 20 years with Thurston. Panthers aren't going four without him. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, I think Cr Cr is Crichton the guy? Yeah, Crichton's the guy that you guys have mentioned. He, he went to the Bulldogs and he's been like a machine for the, the, the defense. Just completely revamp them, so that's good. Yeah, curious to see how that goes. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm so excited for for finals, man. It's gonna be crazy to see how the teams match up and stuff in the big games here. Um, all right, let's move on. Cowboys, Raiders, uh, Raiders. Yeah, Raiders still have a chance, right? Yeah, they're they're one of the teams right around the right around the edge of the eight. Um, yeah, Cowboys. I don't know. Cowboys. Cowboys by twelve is my pick. Um, I feel like they're just yeah they're just a better team. I I did read when did I read that? Was it Holmes? Is it Holmes that got like like released or something by the Cowboys? Is it Holmes or um, what's the other guy's name? Holmes or Drinkwater? Maybe I think, I think Drinkwater signed with with the Roosters I believe for next year, and then Holmes got got like released or maybe the other way around I forget. But yeah, I saw that so that's kind of interesting. It always blows my mind that you guys do like. Uh, 
like you can sign with a team with a different team during the, the previous season like it's that's really weird to me the, the only other sport i can think of that does that is like f1 it always made me feel yeah it's just a weird like it's like oh you're not on the, you know committed to the team type thing it just feels weird that they do that in like mid-season but i guess it works i don't know it it, it, it is just kind of weird like you'd never in hockey you'd never like you would just trade the player and then he would sign there mid season. You wouldn't have a guy that's already said he's leaving on the team. It just is kind of weird that way, but yeah. Anyways, let's get into this. So Cowboys by 12 is my pick. Let's see what happens. If a Raiders win here, that would be really interesting for the, uh, for the ladder. As Mariotta it is, gets things underway for the Raiders. Plays it for Robson. And here is Clifford who runs towards Cook, gets an arm free. Robson backing up. Nice. Goes back nice. To Jake Clifford. Is this a uh, this guy a rookie? Yeah. He's the new number seven. The new number seven. Okay. So was Dr is, is Drinkwater right? working off a quick play the ball. Yeah. He gets a go again after he's set now he's second time Yeah. I, I think is Drinkwater seven or Holmes a seven? Run, I forget. One of them's gone. That's all that's all I know. So this guy's this guy's a guy, young guy or a new guy? Taking over. And, uh, it has been a very good Interesting to make that tr that change like really late in the season, heading into finals. But here's if they feel it's the right thing to do. Oh no, there's Drinkwater. Okay. Oh no, Holmes and Drinkwater are there. What am I talking about? Who who is the seven for the? Okay, this is gonna piss me off. One second. Let me look at uh, NRL. Uh, I don't want to spoil myself. I'm gonna cover my eyes. Do do need uh. Team list around 20. Okay, look at my let me look around 2014 list. What happened here with the storm? Uh, try not to spoil myself. Okay, Clifford, who is the usual number seven? Townsend, that's who it is. Ch Chad Townsend is dropped to the reserves list, replaced in the number seven by Clifford, whose last appearance was in around 17. Okay, so what happened to Chad Townsend? Was he dropped? Because of, of playing bad, or is it because he's yeah Townsend? Okay, no, okay, it was Townsend that's joining the Roosters. Okay, I got that totally mixed up. Yeah, yeah, Townsend. Okay, my bad. I totally messed that up. It was Townsend not um not uh not Drinkwater or Holmes? <laughs> my bad. Boys have a second try and. We don't have to harp on about the game that Val Holmes had last week. One of his more disappointing efforts, but he started today. As we know, he can play. Val Holmes is still a great player, and I think the signing to the Dragons is a good one for the Dragons. All right, Holmes to the Dragons next year. Okay. Three tackles gone. Fogarty to the line. Goes to Strange early. Said Chris trying to hit the spin. Well, he got the ball down, but was he still in play? Oh. The referee and touch judge think so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was. Scored. Yeah, there you Broker go. Scored through Chris Robson, set play here. Clifford. Clifford. Oh, what a pass. Flick pass. That was gross. Okay, this is going to be a blow, it looks like. 16-4 at the half. Interesting. Maybe 18. 18-4 at the half. We got one more in them. Oof. Ooh, what are they doing? We got time, we got time. Try saving tackle there. Drink yeah, easy. The Cowboys easy for the Cowboys. The did well not to knock Jeez, 24 to 4. Will we get another one here at the. Oh, no way. No way. Ooh, what a pass. Was that forward? No. Oh, what a grab. Oh. That was exciting. <laughs> They're having a blast. All right, so this is a blow for the Cowboys here. Yeah. Mix up there between Young and Whitehead. Now Fogarty. It's oh, what? <laughs> until that moment, Dearden pounced. That is brutal. Cleaned up by Thirty to four. He has a brutal. second try here tonight. The Cowboys score immediately upon the resumption. Ricky Stewart can only watch on and stew. <laughs> yeah, he's like, what is Last happening? Last play for the Cowboys. Comes back to Dearden. Oh man, Holmes would have catch. 36 to 4. Should be. Just watch the contest in the air. And Val Holmes gets his body in a great spot to take that one ahead of Savage. 
Clifford with the scrum feed. Scored off a move in the first half. They'll score again. Jeez, they're just... Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, <laughs> Jeez, ooh. I want to grab and grab. Oh, no way, dude. What is the dude? I guess the game's already pretty much over, so I'm not even trying, but brutal, man. 42 to 4. Ooh. All right, so huge win for the Cowboys. 42 4. I guess, yeah, that's interesting that they switched out Townsend. I think, yeah, Townsend, Townsend was the guy I was, I was thinking of before. You guys mentioned he he's kind of he's he was a good player for a long time, but he's kind of like getting old, getting like not as good anymore. So I guess they kind of dropped him down and they wanted to get a fresh guy in there, um, maybe spruce up their team a bit. And yeah, it looks like it like paid off so far. Um, huge win against the Raiders. Um, Farewell to Chad. Jay Clifford's cow is halfback now. He and Durden are deadly together. Clifford did more in this game than Towns has done all year. <laughs> Glad he's back. Clifford looks amazing. The Super League years have helped him. Okay, so he's from Super League. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so I I guess, yeah, I didn't really realize that about, about the Cowboys. Their seven, like, wasn't that good. I guess he, he was one of, from reading these comments, and I guess some of the comments you guys uh, mentioned to me about him. Um, he's like one of the worst sevens this year, I guess, from what I'm understanding. So if Clifford can be like a lot better, if he can just be like an average guy, then that would be a huge boost to the Cowboys and kind of like gives them a chance. Like I kind of, I've kind of, I've kind of written them off all season as not being a team that's built to win, but, um, yeah, if he can like spark them, you never know, I guess. Um, but yeah, so there, uh, was Cowboys boy 38, I had 12, so not close, but yeah, another, another correct pick at least. Team wise, um, okay, we got West Tigers Rabbitohs. This is the Wooden Spoon Bowl. Um, the Wooden Spoon Bowl. No, the Wooden Spoon off. I don't. Yeah, the battle for the for the Wooden Spoon. Um, so yeah, I I picked Tigers by six. I think the Tigers haven't won a game in their last seven or so. So, figure we'll give Tigers. Uh, I I think I said in my tips that yeah, the Tigers will. Um. This is like one of the few teams they have a chance of beating, so we'll try extra hard, I guess, maybe to <laughs> is kind of my logic. So we'll go we'll go Tigers by six. But yeah, I'm I'm expecting the Rabbitohs to win probably. And off we go. And this kick is a mid ranger. And it's tapped back. Oh no way. Jeez, okay. That's crazy. I don't think I've seen that before. That was wild. Oh good kick. What a kick. There we go. There you go, Tigers. That was a crazy kick. You had a guy right on him when he kicked it. That was nuts. Oh, good offload. Nice. Jai Gray. Jai Gray. Ooh. Oh, good pass, Calvin. Oh, dude. Superman. That was a Superman dive. That was crazy. He's stretched out so far. Another teenager. Okay. The Tigers have a lot of young guys, right? Jeez. He's stretched out there. Crazy. It goes outside the Sioni Fayinu. Caesar on the angle. Ooh, another one, another one. Oh, good. Oh, was that high? Let's see, that might have been high. Yeah. Yeah, high contact. He clotheslined him. That should be a bin. Yeah. It's a bin. Only a third time, jeez. Galvin, there you go. Oh, did he... You got that right? I thought he might have knocked that on, but I guess not. Galvin, yeah. Nice, nice. 16-4. Big, big margin right now. Don't blow it, Tigers. Don't blow it. You get it? I think he... Did he... I think he got it down. Let's see. I think I, I, think I saw it go in. Up right here, I think he gets it right. Oh no, he doesn't. No way! What a play! This could be even better for the Tigers. 
Oh, he has lost that. Control of the ball. Jeez. So it's a knock-on in goal by South. Maybe <laughs> this is going to be the Tigers' night. Nice. What a play. Too difficult just to the left of the upright. Late contact, is that? Fortunately for Murray, it wasn't uh, high, but late is the call. That didn't seem that late. That didn't seem that late. Even in slow mo, it didn't seem that late, but. Uh. Ooh. Oh, good grab. Good, 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 uh, good D. Oh. Tigers player is badly injured, okay. Let me know what happened to him in the comments. He's up. Okay, he's up at least. Ooh, there you go, Rabbitohs. There we go. It's, we gotta leave a game. Leave a game. 18-10. Oh, the bounce. Brutal. Nice, good D. 15 left. Oh. Two minutes left. Let's go, Tigers. Oh, where's the dude? Oh, good offload. Oh, it's such. How did he not fall over? What? How did. How did he break that tackle? Oh my god, no way. Bro. <laughs> the time dudes. Forward pass, forward pass, forward pass. No way. What just happened? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, jeez, there you go. Jeez, I did not notice that being a four pass at all. That's crazy. We got a wooden spoon race. We got a wooden spoon race for sure now. All right. Let's go, Tigers. Tigers by two. What a game. The Battle of the Spoon, round 27. Eels versus Tigers. Amazing. I'm gobsmacked. That a, that, that a forward pass would result in a try was actually called. She must be the best ref in the league. <laughs> Uh, Benji Marshall, that forward pass kept my job for a few more weeks, eh? <laughs> That's crazy. If Pear loses this next two games and the Tigers have a bye after the next round, the final round will be a playoff for the wooden spoon. The only forward pass ever called by a ref in 2024. Yeah, that's why I didn't notice it. I feel like I've seen a lot that look like forward passes to me, but they're also like, um, yeah, they're, they're like, I don't know, they're, they're, I feel like you'd, you'd be stalking the play so much if, if you called them all, but it's still, yeah, it's still crazy. Anyway, so there, I'm, I'm, I'm having, I'm like, I've get, got all my picks right so far, except for the Storm Panthers, but that's doing, it's good for me. Okay, so we've got Dragons, Titans. Um, yeah, you guys know them. I'm, I'm, I like the Titans a lot. Big fan of them. They kind of, yeah, they kind of blew it. I was that last week, the loss of the Sharks, they got blown out. I think it was last week, but um, yeah, I, I have Titans by 10 for this one. Uh, Dragons are probably going to win. Dragons at home. Dragons are right in the mix for the for the eight spot. But I got faith in the Titans. So let's see what happens here. Let's go Titans. So underway on a Sunday afternoon, these two sides played. It feels like a long. Time. I like the Dragons too. Actually, they have Lomax and Hunt, right? Yeah. But Titans, the Titans are the guys I like. That's, the stadium's awesome too. Right on the water. Oh no way! He's flying. He's got numbers, two and one. Yeah. Fafita. Great start for the Titans. Let's go. First play. That's awesome. We are spoiled by star fullbacks in our competition. Yeah. Yeah, Titans have so many exciting young players. Ooh. Oh, no way. What was that? Come on, get him down. There you go, there you go. Jack Bird, Hunts, has tipped on oh, how did that get over there? Jeez, what a play. Nice. How did that pass get out? I didn't even see it. That was wild. Oh, no way. 
Oh, what is that? What is that bounce? No way, they went back to back. Oh, he just, dude. Yeah, dude, 11 is huge. That's crazy. Hunt. Bang. Dragons. 10 to 6. Or no, sorry. Yeah, 10 to 6. Well, oh, he dropped it. Khan Pereira. Oh, what a dummy. Oh, jeez. Carry yet another offload. It was loose. There was risk involved. Up with it was Toby Couchman. Toby able to offload to Bird. Dragon. Oh, you got to make that tackle there. Come on. Back to Couchman. He had the oh, you got it. He got stripped. Away from Ryan. And Campbell comes up with a ball. Back for Bird. Then for Hunt. Show and then go. Oh, what a pass, Lomax. The Hunt Lomax connection's crazy. Mm -hmm. And that was one of his best. Yeah, that was sick. 14 6. Oh, no way. No, Titans. Come on. Where's the D? Brutal. Oh, did he. No, he got that. He got that. Yeah. Damn. Toby Couchman. Little now. 20 to 6 at the half. No, oh, another one. Oh. <laughs> Damn Titans, oh well, there's next year. The Couchman Show. <laughs> Leilua, yeah, that guy's a machine. Oh, he... Nope. Yeah. Negates the knock-on by kicking it, okay. Before it hit the ground. Nice, nice, okay. Probably not time, but let's see. Oh, that was a huge hit. Are they saying it's high or late? Oh, there was? Okay, I didn't see the head contact, but okay. Okay, here we go, Titans. You need, you need to score a couple here. There you go. This guy's, dude, he's so fast. Oh, what a tackle. Alright, they didn't score with the Simbin. That's not good. There you go. Fafita. I was about to say, that's not Khan. Fafita. Alright, yeah, no time left. Dragons by 10. Jamin Jolliffe? What a name. Hmm. Jeez. Okay, 32-16. Dragons by 16. Damn. Damn. It was a good run, Titans. The, the Titans' bad start killed them, and I guess they're having a bad ending as well. They, they were really good in the middle of the season, but yeah, they just haven't been, it. I've been able to end, this, uh, end the season well either. Um, yeah, great tackle by Sloan. Hopefully give him confidence in defense. Smart Lomax leaving a potential top eight side for a potential wooden side, wooden spoon side, and for less money. <laughs> uh, tipped by most for the spoon and now on the verge of playing finals. Whatever happens from here, Dragons fans can be proud. Yeah. Okay, yeah, lot, lots of comments just saying, like, kind of happy for the Dragons, but they're, yeah, they're not going to be a team that's going to do anything in the finals. They're just not ready to be a good team, I guess, is what some of the comments were saying. Um, anyways, okay, let's move on. Last match of the round, we have the Sharks versus the Knights. Um, I have, I have Sharks by eight. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the uh, the Knights. Um, I don't like the jerseys for the Knights at all. Like They, like, really don't agree with my eyes, so I haven't been much of a, much of a fan of those. Don't really cheer for them really that much, but, um, yeah, let's just see what happens. See if the Sharks can make their top four push. And the Newcastle Knights will start with the ball in their hands with the breeze at their backs. Or a howling wind, in fact. Receives from Crossland and knocked on. By the oh, what a pass. And Cronulla are away. Nicara 
didn't go to Katoa. And after slipping, Gamble still made the tackle. Chance to put first points on the board here. McInnes to Atkinson. Kennedy was chiming in, but Atkinson beats the ball. There you go, Sharks. What a run. Is, um, is Hines back? I don't think he's back. Is he going to be back soon? I forget. I think he's supposed to be back for finals, yeah. Chance on that left hand side that they'll come back to the open now for McInnes. Another offload upcoming. Atkinson saw space in behind. They're queuing up. Nicara for Cronulla. Nicara. What a dream start for the Sharks in the opening yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, big start. Down the short side. They go to Gamble. Knights are another team right on the edge of the eight late, so one. they kind of need to win this, but this and doesn't look good tonight. To happen. Keep it alive. And oh, maybe more. not. Here we go. He can almost reach out. The big man, he does. There you go. Okay. Newcastle had their first try, I fancy. Okay. There's right some hope. To the post. Well, he's about nine foot tall. Kai no Pierce Paul. Sent up as a no try, of course. So the ball it's... rolls onto the goal line for a try. We have a decision. Mm -hmm. Time to get one down. Okay. Breeze here in Cronulla. Honga, left hand side. Brilliant. Nice. Untouched Marju. And we're all locked up with the kick to come. McInnes, Atkinson, here comes the fullback. Ramian. Great legs tackle again. They tested out. McCarthy stood up to the challenge, and now they give away the penalty. And 10 in the bin. Oh, a bin? What? You come in and you kill it on half time. Time off. Ten minutes. Interesting. Okay. 12-10, though. Sharks have, have the advantage right now, but they're not doing anything. Yeah. Great Knights by four, unless they miss this somehow. Come on, Sharks, you got to score with the bin. They still don't have the ball back. No way. Jeez, okay, the Knights. The Knights. All right, 18 10. This is going to be a good game. 18 minutes left. Oh, is that a high? I tackle. I take him a two. Yep. Okay, one score game. Good pass. Oh, did he get it? He got, he got it. Nice. He got there at the end. Almost defended that, but. Yeah, that should be a try, right? Does he get that down? Yeah, try. right there. Try. Yeah. Atkinson Gonna curl it. The right nice. There you go. Tie game. Six Which minutes left. Go. Come on. Come on, Sharks. He's ready to go. Oh, no. He's going for the kick. Did he make it? Oh, he missed it. You can't have, you can't have players in front of you. What happened? Oh, look. Oh. Let me pause. I was like, so, yeah, so the... um. The Knights couldn't kick it, but they had players in front of them when he kicked it. Okay, I remember that rule. Charge down for Big charge down for the, the Knights there. You know, left. You going for a kick here? Must be, right? Should be it. Same thing. They had guys in front. <laughs> Both teams did that. Okay, we're in overtime. Golden point. Sharp. Or Knights. Knights. Missed it. Oh, he missed. He missed it. Holy. Come on, Atkins. Bang. Canal Cronulla. Sharks in overtime. There you go. Yeah, top four Sharks. Crazy game. That was a sick finish. Big comeback for the Sharks there. That was wild. Yeah, so Sharks, yeah, big win for the Sharks. Knights, I think th that might spell the end of the Knights season. I'll have to look at the ladder in a second here, but yeah, so let's look at the comments for this. Uh, like I said last week, Dan Atkinson might be the GOAT. Is Dan Atkinson, he was, the, is he number five? Let me, 23-year-old, 5'8", or halfback for the Sharks. Yeah, he's like their kicker now that, uh, yeah. He's Italian, it says. What? He played International Rugby League for Italy. Interesting. Dan Atkinson, pure clutch, origin player for sure. Yeah, I'm with Wayne. Golden Point sucks. Yeah, I, I do think um, 
I do. I, I never liked that about anything. The NFL was like that too, where it's like first point scores in, in, uh, in a game where it's like offense and defense. Like I, I would prefer each team gets a chance to score. Um, or each team gets one, one time on offense, I guess it would be better to me, but, um, yeah, it's, it's whatever. It's whatever. It's just a regular season. So it just doesn't mean much, but anyways, okay, let's, uh, all right. So yeah, let's check out the stats ladder and the draw and we'll figure out a game to do uh, for a watch party next week. But yeah. So we have, yeah, the storm storm should be the premiership winners. Um, and the, yeah, there's only how many rounds left are there? It's like four, three rounds left, I believe. Yeah. We got Panthers, Roosters, Sharks, Bulldogs are right there. Seagull is right there. Cowboys. And then yeah, drag case. Okay, so we got dragons, dolphins, Broncos, Knights, Raiders, Titans. Yeah. So it's looking like it'll be the dragons, but the dragons might have a tough, uh, actually both these teams play, um, the sharks and the storm. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. That's going to be tough for these two teams. That that, give, that brings up an opening for the Knights. They have the Rabbitohs and the Broncos have the Eels. So that's, dude, if, imagine the Broncos somehow make it after all of this that's happened. That'd be crazy. Uh, and then the Raiders have the Panthers, right? So they're probably down as well. Titans over the, yeah. So it looks like it's, it is coming down to these, I'd say these four. Odds are it goes to the Dragons, but no, who knows? I think the Dragons probably have the easiest, um, like they're, they're leading, right? But they also have the Sharks, which is tough. So it'll be interesting if these two teams, if Dragons, Dolphins lose and Broncos Knights win, that'll make it like super interesting for the last like two rounds or whatever. Um, crazy. And then we got yeah, Eels, Tigers in the in the wooden spoon battle here. Absolutely brutal. Both teams. Tigers have a bye though, so yeah, they are technically tied already, I believe. Right? Is that how it works? No, they played twenty-two. Am I not reading this correct? Okay, let's look at the ladder. Let's look at the ladders. See if I'm out of my mind. Hey, okay, how many buys are there? Cowboys have a buy. Tigers have a buy, and then okay, okay. So the buys aren't really impacting the other things. Okay, all right. So round round twenty five, we have the Tiger Seagulls. Shouldn't shouldn't be a yeah. It should be an easy one for the Seagulls. Warriors Bulldogs. Um, meh. Not a great game, not, not a great game. Uh, Broncos, Eels, kind of interesting. Broncos have a chance, right? So Broncos, Eels at 3 a.m. for me. Uh, Raiders, Panthers, 10 p.m. I might, hmm, is this the game we're going to do? I might not even, let's take a peek, actually. Yeah, I, I don't know what game we'll do this week. But yeah, Ra Panthers, Raiders is probably the best time for me. Uh, this, this this time slot's usually really good for me. Uh, but then Storm Dolphins as well at 12.30 for me. It's another decent one we could do. Uh, I have been watching the storm a bit, a bit, uh, a bit too much lately though. Um, Rabbitohs Knights, Titans Roosters might be fun. I think actually this is the game I think I mentioned I, when, I, when I did uh, we did our watch party we were looking at next week. I think Titans Roosters might be the game I do because Titan, Titans obviously they're they're done, but they have a lot of players I like to watch, and then the Roosters are obviously yeah the Roosters are like really fun to watch too. But Sharks Dragons that might be this might be the one to watch. Now that I think about it, maybe we can do both. Yeah, we'll probably do this one, and then maybe we'll do we'll tune in for Dragon Sharks as well, if, if I'm filling up for it. Yeah, I think I think that's what we'll do. Um, okay, so we are gonna do one more video before we end it here. Um, I'm I'm not gonna do a bunch of uh, NRLW uh, reactions this week. I'm just gonna do the best moments because I am dead tired and I'm already late with my upload. But let's see, where is the um, Best moments, best moments around four. Okay, here we go. So yeah, let's check out the NRLW best moments around four. Uh, let's go. Play on here for Brisbane. Brigginshaw kicking on the last walk. Oh, great take try. Jeez. That's class. Class from the kicker. Class from the finisher. Brisbane extend their lead. Stop it. That was brilliant. Stacy. Big catch. Barnes. Temida. Oh, Dodd back to Barnes now. Nichols running freely. Oh, what an awful. Did she just got knee in the head? Dude. What jerseys are these two for? These are the Raiders jerseys? I really like those. Those are different colors than the uh, the men's team, aren't they? Yeah, they're like a they're like a teal and red. Again, it's brought Interesting. 
can see us all little step in a Superman dive. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I wish they would just use these uniforms. These are like nice on the men's team. Jeez, big interception. Robinson is flying. There you go. Yeah, that was too easy. Alright, Titans, Cowboys. Ooh. Jeez, that was a tough catch for uh, the defending player there, like the with the in the in the shade there. That must have been hard to see. Oh, she grabbed the. But yeah, she her, she grabbed her by the by the ponytail there by accident, I think. <laughs> that was definitely an accident, but that's crazy. Oh, what a kick! Nice. Right at the end of the game, okay. That's for the win, basically. Jeez, yeah. That would have went in on a soccer net, I think. Holy. Oh, what a run! No way. How'd she get through there? Crazy dummy. Big D, though. Big D, that's a play. Tegan Berry. Big passing play. There you go. Nice. <laughs> That was a dramatic whistle blow. <laughs> oh, right, sneaks through. Oh, what a pass. Oh, she get it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a kick. No way. No way. That was sick. That was sick. Snagged it right over hands. Anderson and Wheeler, last play, Upton, through the hands they go, and it's with Parker, gets a good step, oh how did she get that, that was a weird one, what happened here, oh okay, they, look, they just looked weird from that angle, okay, oh, what a play, yeah, that was a defensive, great defensive play, Came across in numbers. Just, oh, perfect. The camera angle in, in the. Uh, oh, I didn't. Even, I didn't even notice. Yeah, I didn't even notice the clock. That. Oh, yeah, that was a game saver. Tiger's heels. Big tackle out of touch. Oh, good passing. Oh, no way. No way. Oh, good. Nice, yeah. What about that play? Swing it right. Still going. There's an overlap created. They must score. Oh, the, def the defense. Crazy. Three defenders just made a wall. Right. Nice. <laughs> Parramatta. <laughs> All right. So yeah, nothing too crazy in the uh, in the best moments this week. But yeah, give that a like. Yeah, great stuff. Yeah, I, I definitely yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. I'll try to squeeze in some more reactions to games for the NRLW in next week. I'm just yeah, I'm like dead tired today. I don't really feel like doing some extra videos, extra reactions. But yeah, good stuff. All right, we will. I take, I'll take a look at the women's ladder as well. I guess or the women's yeah, the women's ladder. Um, see what's going on so far. Uh, Sharks four and zero. Oh. Nice, nice. Three and one for the Roosters. Three and one for the Eels. Two and two. Tiger, dude, the Tigers are overworked. <laughs> Jeez, man. The Tigers are going to get the wooden spoon in both competitions? There's no way. Brutal. That's crazy. All right. All right, yeah. So that was my, yeah, that was my reaction to round 24 of the NRL and the best moments of round four for the NRLW. Um, yeah, lots of good matches. I did, I did pretty good in my tips, I think, right? What did I do? Was I six for eight? 
six for eight, I think. Yeah, six for eight with good margins for the most part. It's pretty happy with myself for that. Um, yeah, so we'll do the Titans Roosters live stream, uh, most likely. There is a chance I might not do a live stream this week, uh, because I, uh, I have family members, uh, visiting, uh, starting like the tomorrow or the day after. In a couple days, I have people coming over, so I'm not gonna have too much, uh, time or like, yeah, it's kind of awkward, like, doing a stream when people are, like, here at my house so um yeah so we'll we'll, we'll see about that i'm hopeful I'll, I'll, I'll probably i'll probably do one for titans uh titans roosters but yeah we'll see if i can do a double header might be fun and then yeah so we're almost at finals which is yeah it's crazy i am planning on trying to do as many watch parties as possible for for all the finals matches um it is tbd on exactly how many i can do and if i can do them late at night because a lot of the games are like in the middle of the night for me and if it's like a busy day at work for me, I'm I can't stay up until like 6 a.m. to watch to watch games. So we'll see how that goes. But um, I'll definitely if I'm not doing a watch party, I'll be reacting to the game for sure. I'll do like extended highlight reaction and all that stuff. So yeah, should be a good time. Um, yeah, make sure to sub, like the video, comment your thoughts. Um, yeah, I think we're just we're just about at 3k subs, so that'll be sick. And I am planning on getting a um, I'm planning on getting a Patreon set up. Um, this is kind of recommended for my my rugby union side of my channel because there's a few uh like documentaries and stuff that people wanted me to check out and i can't put them up on youtube so yeah i'm, I'm gonna be having a patreon start up soon and i'll probably start doing some sort of um like more reactions to like nrl documentary stuff or like stuff that's like um behind the scenes stuff stuff that stuff i just can't put on youtube for the most part is kind of what's going to go over there so yeah keep an eye out for that should be up in the next week or two and yeah we'll send it there thanks for watching